Hey, welcome to Arizona Real Estate News. I'm Rick McCone with EXP Realty. We got Pat McMasters, Price Mortgage, and Jacqueline Smith and Ruby Graff with Arizona, with Century 21 Arizona Foothills. How's everybody today? Fantastic. Right. Jackie's Good, got, cool that, beans. got that uh, city of New York <laughs> behind her with, during a lightning storm. So, you know, getting a little techie over there. <laughs> it's raining here too, actually. Well, I saw this reflection in there and I thought maybe that was actually reflecting the storm that I saw on the radar when I looked on the phone. <laughs> so I thought, I thought, okay, we, how do we replicate that? But you already did that for us. Well, so you, you told everybody my trick though. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like the channel spoiler. I think that's just the way it works. So, so let's talk about what's going on. And sometimes the more you look, the more it remains the same, but you can see that, uh, the sales number here, number of homes under contract, took a little bit of a dip up, but not much. You know, maybe 500 homes, 400 homes. But the new listings, the seven-day moving average, continues to get lower and, and lower this week. Actually went down a few notches. And that's something I really want to take a little deep dive in here for just a couple of minutes because it really illustrates the point. Because here's what we're seeing. Obviously, we're seeing all these active listings that are available now, right? And we're up over 18,000 now. This was like Saturday afternoon. But see these gaps here? This went from 13.5 to 14.5, then to 15.3. And now the additional listings are even lower every week. 16.1 to 16.6, 500 units. 16.6 to 17.1, 500 units. So they're coming on slowly and but sales are down and if sales were just to increase by another 500 homes then the downward pricing pressure would start to slow down um, because the number of listings we have out there are not astronomical and mm -hmm. this shows that i think probably better than most charts this this here's august so obviously that's going to be low but if you look here july 2022 10,522 listings for the month. And then you go to 2021 in July and you're at 10,587. So we're not putting them on any faster this year than we did last year. And you go to July here, 9,863. So we're putting more on, but barely. So the number of new listings are not adding to the active listings we have we just have people that are we this is a i guess we could say it's kind of like gas prices gas prices are coming down because a lot people are just driving less just can't afford it so right. there's not yep. as much you know purchasing going on so gas prices went down looks like housing's doing the same thing for the same reason and yeah, they just can't afford them and they're not purchasing, so they're waiting. And so the inventory continues to build. But uh, Mr. Pat, what's going on in the lending world? We had some numbers on uh, Wednesday, and uh, did it change anything? <laughs> so, spotlight, huh? Um, yeah, inflation numbers came out 8.5. Uh, it was obviously down inflation month, you know, over year over year. So, Things the this is the chart that normally I have inverted in terms of price, but this is actually rates. So you saw rates kind of actually today. Rates let me uh, delayed up twenty five ba basis points. The ten was down two basis points. So we're kind of they actually performed um, reasonably well. Uh, it was going to be a volatile day, um, which it could have been, but like I said, it's kind of. People's expectations are kind of, they're tired of, they're not, we're not going to see the whipsaws that we have when this news started coming out about six, seven months ago. So people are kind of getting used to this. So, but according to Biden, there's no inflation. I saw that. I heard that driving home today. There's, <laughs> there's no, there's no inflation because no inflation, it inflation because it went from 9.1 to 8.5. It's actually, that, that was the way they kind of spun it was there was no inflation, which yeah, I yeah we didn't have guys, more, more inflation. Comical, right? I need to get in that. But, I mean, rates were, work. yeah, I mean, when, uh, we, you know, the 
Fed's meeting in September 21st. So the next six weeks are going to be this, you know, choppiness. Like you said, you saw the spike. Let me get my cursor going here, which is kind of slow. You know, things have been falling off a little bit rate wise. So we're seeing mid fours, you know, high fours, low fives, depending on, you know, your pricing scenario. So things have stabilized there. And I, I just wonder if this, uh, pause with the buyers obviously if we see a little bit more of a loosening in rates if we're going to see more of a, a little bit of a surge certainly come back again you know from an affordability standpoint i don't i don't know i think you're going to have to be down a little a little farther but there is you know definitely oh, yeah. there's some people out there looking for bargains and you just to illustrate how slow sales are you can look here at july 2022 it says here 5728 compared to last year 86 and the year before that, 99. So that's quite a dip down. Um, so I think it's, I, um, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. I mean, tell me what you're, what you're, what you're feeling out there. Cause I know you guys said you're starting to get um, a lot more listings coming on. So what's, uh, what's going on? Well, we have one of our investors who's been doing some marketing. And um, so he's kind of been feeding us some leads of potential sellers that were a lot of them were actually on the market previously. Um, and, and some of them, too, they're they're situational. So divorce, um, one is a job loss. I, I kind of think I mean, we've got about four or five listings appointments to go on in the next couple of days. And I even in talking to these people, though, they're going to buy. Um, I have a feeling that the buyers are going to come back. I'm hearing it from other agents. Um, I saw realtor.com, no crash. Uh, there's some other, you know, you've got the, the crashers on YouTube saying, you know, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. I, I think a lot of it still is fear instilled, um, with the consumer. They're confused. They don't know where the market's going to go. But what about all those people, the buyers that were on the fence that couldn't find a home and took one year leases last year around this time? What are they going to do? I don't I don't know that they're necessarily going to sign your leases again. I have a feeling come the beginning of September, we're going to see a surge of buyers coming back, depending on what happens with rates, though. Right. And it also depends on um, I mean, we've seen some. Uh, price reductions and further negotiations as far as seller concessions and that type of thing. So I feel like that's going to make a difference too. And those buyers that couldn't qualify um, due to interest rate or due to price point, they're going to be back on track now. I did some looking, you know, through, through open door and uh, um, I'm trying to help a guy find a, a deal there and their homes look like it's a real bargain because they're marking them down a hundred thousand dollars, but they went in 125 K too hot. So okay. you're like, wow, just, to, you know, look at this, um, this, they really dropped this, but then you look at the price that they're at now and go, well, it's still not great. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so, and I know we, we talked a little bit yesterday too, while I was gone that, you know, that uh, um, about that $3,500 that they're offering to as an agent bonus that as a team uh, we'll all pass that on to the buyers. So Absolutely. open doors offering to pay us an additional 3,500 to get you to buy that house before the end of September. Cause they want to try and clean their books, get rid of their inventory. So instead of us taking it, cause they're paying us commission anyway, even though they've reduced that a little bit, um, mm -hmm. we can forward that credit that back to the, to the buyer to assist with closing costs or even a, you know, a portion of it towards a, a rate buy down. So you just send us an email at the, what you see down below here and we can, you know, help you help accommodate you there. But I think, you know, Pat, you always talk about psychology. I, I mean, I see um, some of the numbers in the past two weeks here are starting to look uh, a little more balanced than they did just a mere two weeks ago, but man, there's still a lot of noise out there and, and, uh, even though inflation went down just a blip today, um, I just don't see uh, the headwinds backing off anytime soon. No, I agree. I mean, I like uh, Jackie, you know, like people have been saying, eh, there's this 
uneasy feeling. People just don't feel they're kind of in this midriff of where what they should what what's going to happen, and that's why I think you know I, I, November. I think once we get a little bit more guidance as far as what's going on with this with uh, the politics of this war country, I think that's I think that's going to give a little bit more direction. Absolutely. You know, um, you know whether you're Democrat, Republican, I'm not trying to make it political. But I just think it's going to give a little this this things seem like they're kind of floating around in the in the lake and rates are kind of like i said they are you know hanging around the mid four range i'm sure there's some people out there you know see if they're going to go into a little bit lower um but i i agree with jackie i think there's a little bit there's a good time frame it's just you know you have to when be you careful start, and when you start seeing prices come down when you start seeing it, you automatically you put the brakes on. Here it comes. Yeah. I'm going to wait. Yeah. So you yeah. start I'm seeing it. Going, I'm, I'm, that's it. And then you see it yeah. come down, and then you go, well, that's probably going to happen again. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. went down in July. It's, it's, it's going to happen in August. They see it coming. Then it comes down in August, and then it just ends up saying, well, shoot, September. August was even farther yeah. down than July. Can't wait to mm -hmm. see what this looks like by Christmas. And so... Um, so that is where I think could happen this next quarter. And um, Open Door clearly and OfferPad are offering these incentives to clear out quarter three inventory. Get rid of them. Get you know, let's get these off. A lot of investors, flippers, are really trying hard to get rid of their properties. But then what comes after that? Their acquisitions have really slowed down. Obviously, yeah. Open Door is getting with Zillow. Um, I'm not sure from what I read. Ladies, tell me if you saw it differently, but they, it says that Zillow says if you go on the Zillow website and you site, you find a house you want, Open Door will help buy your house and get you into that house that you saw on Zillow. And they want to be a one stop shop and handle everything mm -hmm. and make it seamless, but they're not doing anything that we can't do. And mm -hmm. the reputation they have from what just happened. It's like the bad leading the bad. I mean, I, I can't, I, I, I can't even imagine dealing with open door right now. You know, and some of the buyers that I've been talking to recently, I just wanted to throw this in there because I've been reaching out to people that could not secure a house last year. And they have that attitude, Rick, like you were saying, well, the prices have come down. We're happy to see that. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting for them to come down a little bit more and then mm -hmm. we'll be ready again. Mm -hmm. And what I've been trying to explain to people is, you know, the rates are down right now. Uh, they're not bad. I mean, historically, right. Right. we have good rates. At this moment, we have the inventory. And I've been trying to explain to people the inventory is slowing down. At some point, and are we going to see a surge where all the buyers start coming back and we don't have the listings coming? Because, again, those people that have the two and three quarters to three and a half interest rates that bought last two years, they're not going to want to sell unless right. it's a situational event that happens in their life so well, I, I did a survey on my channel here uh, yesterday i put it out you know where what interest rate are you sitting on 61 percent of our viewers are under four percent mm -hmm. yeah so 30 30 percent are under three percent how many percent for, under what 31 yeah. percent are under three that's, that's so you can get number. those you, you can knock those out you can knock those people out. They're not. Uh, I'd say nine out of ten are moving anywhere. I've talked to several people. Are like, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm they might get a HELOC, but that's about it. You know? I, I don't and know, I Rick. More... If... Oh, go, oh ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No. Oh, okay. That's okay. Um, real quick before I forget, you know, and you got to realize too. I mean, I'm just, you know, just uh, jabbering here, but a little bit. But the more we go into this, and this kind of just muddles along, you know, you get those people that. Three, six, three to six months ago, they're like, oh, we're going to see a crash. We're going to see a crash. I mean, the more we go along, just kind of drift along, it's going to it's going to settle out everything. And, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. it's going to find a market. Every market finds a certain water level. And, um, you know, with rates going up to the sixes, six and a half, you know, like you said, you had a lot of people out there say, oh, we're going to now we got these high prices. Things are just going to crash. Yeah, they've come mm -hmm. down. But the longer we the we the longer we spread this out. That's good. That theory is going to kind of lose its power. Mm -hmm. Well, could prices get down to 
2020 levels. That's I, quite a it's quite a dip. I don't think so. I don't think so. And Rick, I don't know if you do watch Altos. You show research. that chart again? Yes. Um, I, I I did see Altos. He's he's uh, definitely feeling like uh, the stars are lining up for a soft landing. Exactly. And, and I agree with them. And I think once people see that the rates, they stay stable, I hope. I, I mean, who knows? If they see the rates stay stable and then they see the inventory start to shrink again, or is there going to be a frenzy the other way? Are we going to turn I, around and have? I hope not. I hope, you know, I, I hope the I prices hope not continue. Too. I hope the prices continue to, to mellow up and come down. Um, slowly. And I hope that we see uh, an, an affordability period here where people can can enter back in to the market. Now, um, you know, first time home buyers, it's going to be tough for probably a long, long time. Right. That's, that's just not going to snap your fingers and go away. My concern on the back of my head is this insane government spending, unlike oh, yeah. anything none of us have seen in our lifetime. I mean, look, they just signed off on a trillion dollars this week, like it was nothing. I know. 700,000 here and another 300 billion for, you know, to make chips over here. It's, you know, it's a, a trillion dollars. Well, that's going to put pressure on rates right. long term. It's going to put pressure on everything. Now they just, I think, erased any chance of seeing relief on inflation. And the inflation relief will come, I think for a short period for right now, and then it'll come roaring back. I mean, Mr. I agree. Mr. Pat, the economist, how far off am I? No, I think you're right. I mean, um, yeah, there's, too, there's way too much money out there. Like you said, I just think that there's going to be a lot to be said come November, November, mm -hmm. December. And then um, I think we're going to muddle from now till November back and forth. Like I said, you got the inflation recession you know, one day it's inflation, next day it's recession. Like say tomorrow, we've got the PPI numbers in terms of, uh, you know, th those numbers coming out. So the market's going to react. We're just in this, I, I just feel, like I said, I try to step back and I think we're just kind of stuck in this range overall, everything with homes, buyers, list, you know, sellers. And, um, you know, once again, the people that really are adamant about buying, I think this is a good time frame when things are quiet. I think you're right. I, it, mm -hmm. To have a chaotic market, it just it's, it doesn't do good for anybody. You know, it's and so funny. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, the, the sellers are kind of in a panic mode themselves where, mm -hmm. you know, where's the activity? You know, they're hovering and calling and texting and all over us about, you know, get open houses done. How many showings did you have? We're having zero showings right now. So it's, yeah, you know, that's the biggest are, change I see in those Facebook yeah. groups, right? Mm -hmm. I, one week, no showings, one week, one showing just, it, it's across the board. Nobody's getting yeah. any showings right now, but, um, but I, I can tell you, there is some good news next week though. Next week we're giving away a <laughs> coffee mug. <laughs> I love it. Now, if you've hung into this channel at all, you know how coveted that is. And we got some breaking news from uh, Price Mortgage. I'm going to throw in a what? hat. Throwing in a hat. <laughs> you know, and those don't come easy. I mean, you yeah, got Price ahead. Mortgage yeah. hat. I mean, just imagine how many friends you'll make immediately walking into a bar. Exactly. Just exactly. Pull them through the drive through <laughs> in Starbucks. They hand you this cup and they just go, wait. Is that a problem? <laughs> so, and then you can take the Starbucks coffee and you can pour it into this mug. <laughs> so, uh, so I love so, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we've just solved so many problems uh, just just roaring through that right now. So uh, I think we all need to have our mugs next show. Next <laughs> show. Well, I they don't get delivered that quick. I did get my Rick Helps I real estate. My, my Rick Helps real estate mug showed up. Awesome. Awesome. My, t-shirt uh but i haven't got the real estate news ones delivered yet but we're gonna have a drawing and it's really easy is uh pat you and i did this on our anniversary show is you just have to like and comment that's it and your comment can be yep mug hat, <laughs> anything it doesn't matter and then i have a rant random picker and then we will announce the winner either we'll do it um we'll do it like the next week we will announce the winner 
and the winner, you're going to have to come back and watch us more than once. We'll go ahead and announce it at the beginning of the show so we don't have to keep you on the whole time. And then we're just going to ask you to contact us and send us your email so we can make arrangements to send you the ever so coveted real estate news. I mean, is that a great <laughs> bug or what? It's wonderful. So, <laughs> Well, folks, with that in mind and that good news for next week, everybody have a fabulous weekend. And thanks for joining us. Thanks. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.